Okay, ladies and gents, in this video, we're going to stretch you a little bit. We're going to show you how to do a loop that doesn't just repeat a definite number of times every single time. So, for example, if I was using my loop here, repeat, then this message would repeat four times. Every single time around the program, it would repeat four times. What we're going to do instead is we're going to use a different loop called, so I'll just drag that down to the bin, called a while loop. So here we go. While. There we are, there goes the bell again. So I'll just get rid of that true from there for the moment. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a new variable up here rename it and I'm going to call it stop. So this is the variable that's going to tell our computer whether we want to stop or not. So we're going to set stop to be and I think it'll be in logic yes, false. There we go. Set stop to false. So in here in our while loop we're going to use a bit of logic again and drag that in and clip it on. So while stop is equal, and again back to logic, to false, we're going to keep looping and keep showing this string hello world. And we're going to let the user choose when to stop the loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a little input and say on button A pressed. I'm just going to duplicate that little line. And I'm going to set stop to true. So when I press button A, it will change that stop variable to be true. This loop only happens while stop is false. So the moment it gets back, the moment it finishes showing that string and gets back to this check again, it'll see that stop is true and it won't do what's inside the loop anymore. We hope. Let's check it. So run, wait for my web browser to catch up, so it should say hello world. I'm going to have to watch this through once to make sure it's repeating. Hello world, should have chosen a shorter message for testing. There we go, it should loop again. Yes, it does loop again. So if I press button A now, that will change stop to true. Now, I don't know if it'll stop immediately. I don't think it will. I think it'll stop after it's shown this whole string because it's still doing this command and it is not checked up here yet. So there we go. So it's gone back to there. It's checked to see if stop is false. It's not because we pressed button A to change to true. So it's stop the loop. So we can make a loop that is user controlled there. Your challenge is to use that and adapt it in a different way in a different program. Off you go.